Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Ahsoka Tano from Clone Wars. So let's get started. To draw Ahsoka, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. But it's going to be a little bit more angular. So let's start about right there. Come right across, say about this much. And I'm just going to start to connect it. So about right here, I'm going to angle it just a little bit more. And when we come down here, I'm going to... The chin area is going to be a little bit more straight. And then connect. Just to give her stronger cheekbones. Okay, so something like that. This is too complicated. You can just um, make it a like a bottom of a U. Okay, so from there, now that we have the face, um, the shape in, let's come back right here towards the edge, and we're gonna draw a circle from where we started for the eyes. So about right there, and draw a big circle for her eyes, and same thing on the other side. So about right there. And once again, towards the edge. So now that we have the circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. and lines at the bottom. So same thing over here. So thank you for all the requests to draw Ahsoka here from Clone Wars. If you loved how this one turned out, please let me know in the comments below if there's any other characters you want um, me to help you draw. And lines at the bottom. Okay, so then from there, let's come to the side. I'm just going to give her some simple lashes. So maybe just a uh, curve there, maybe just two. And a shorter curve at the bottom. So same thing over here. And then from there, I'm going to draw her mouth. So about right in this area. And I was very, I was having a hard time figuring out how to draw her mouth because she doesn't really seem to smile <laughs> very much. She's always kind of like um, fighting and things like that. So um, I'm just going to give her a not too deep of a smile, just a soft smile, just like that. So hopefully that will make sense. And then from there, let's start to draw her um, extravagant uh, headpiece right here. So let's bring this up more. And now I'm going to start to create this kind of this um, headpiece, this band that she has on her forehead. So let's bring this up pretty high. We're going to have enough room for her eyebrow that's painted in white. So about right there, I'm just going to start to bring it up and curve in. So same thing over here. I'm just going to skip about say enough space about right here so it's centered. About right there. And draw the same curve on the other side. So we're just starting to build the band on her head. So from there, let's, um, let's see here. I'm going to bring an angle down. And we're going to uh, be aware of the center here. So we're not going to go past the center. So that's why I'm going back and forth. I just want to make sure I'm pretty centered. So angle on that side as well. And then from there, I'm going to bring in a line. And then bring in a line just like the other side. And now I'm going to come up. So about right here, I'm just leaving a little space in the center. Come up with a straight line. And then we're going to angle this out, angle out, and then go up. So just by drawing it this way, you're just um, 
more assured that this will end up in the center. So then from there, let's angle this, angle that, and then we're going to bring a curve down. So about right here, curve it down and sweep it right back to where you started. So same thing here. Hopefully I made that a little bit easy for you, easier for you to draw. There. So then come right back in here in the space you've created, draw a straight line through, and then another soft curve right here in between. Okay, and then in terms of the um, markings, I'll come back in there later to fill in all those details. And then um, from there, let's come back down to here and we'll start to draw the neck before we draw all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna come about right here. And I'm making it a little bit thicker than usual because she has a collar. So then I'm going to come in here and connect it with a curve. And then let's come in here with a curve in the center, come right in and then curve up. Just creating this little collar that she has. And then from there, I'm going to come out in this area and just start her shoulders. So both sides and then add a little angle line. So before I finish up the rest of her body, um, I'm going to stop right there. So now that I have this little angle line right there for her shoulder, I'm going to come about in this area and then draw a curve. And this is important because we're going to have, I'm just going to call it her hair. <laughs> I'm having her hair in front of her body this time. So just to make it a little bit easier to draw, I'm gonna create these two curves right here on both sides. And bring this down a little bit more. Okay, so then from there, let's come, imagine her armpits would be about right here. So then let's come about right here and bring in an angle line on both sides. So this is kind of where her body is and her waist is gonna start. Make sure it's the same on the other side, about right there. And then from there, I'm going to bring in a curve towards the center. So this is kind of that belt that she has. And then bring it in. So once again, we're just making sure of our center and connecting it with a straight line. Then from there, let's bring this we're going to start to curve out a little bit for her belt. So before we finish that, let's come into this area and we're going to create this buckle thing that she has. So it's just a bunch of angles. One, two, three. Kind of like an octagon, I guess. I think. I haven't counted yet. <laughs> Does that shape? Or you can just make it a rectangle. It's up to you if it's simpler. And then we're just going to create this belt right here, bring it in on both sides. And then come right in the center and we're just going to thicken a line for the buckle. Okay, so then from there, now that we know where her waist is, I'm going to start to draw this curve that comes right here from her buckle and curve out on both sides. And then right here, I'm going to start where her hips are, bring this out. So she has this kind of like a skirt to shield area. So I'm going to start to bring this down more. Uh, and once again, we're very even back and forth. So let's do the side first, about right there. I'm going to give it a little angle. So same thing on this side, about right there. Angle. And then let's finish it off. So let's come right here. And we're going to bring it in and connect it. So same thing on the other side. And connect. We've created that shape and then right in the center here, just come 
right in here. Same thing on the other side. And the center, I'm just giving myself a point so it's easier. I'm just going to create this skirt inside. There. Okay. So then uh, we have that part in. Now let's come, since we're here, let's draw her legs. So nice and centered once again. I'm going to draw two little angle lines and her legs are going to pop out about right here. And let's start to angle it down. I know this drawing is very detailed, but I was trying to limit the details only to what is necessary so it's not too complicated. Hopefully you guys love this drawing and I'm helping you. Okay, so we have her legs in. From there, let's start to draw her um, knee pad area, her uh, boots. So I'm just gonna come right here and angle, kind of like where her knees would be. I'm gonna create this little angle right there. Pop this out a little bit. I'm just going to work on this side first. So let's bring this down. Oops. All the way down. And we're going to get thinner as we come down. And about right there, I'm going to start to flare it out. So come out. And round it off and connect. There. Then let's come back in here and kind of like where her knee area is, I'm just going to come right here and add a soft curve. And then in this area where her feet would be, I'm going to come in here with a curved straight line and then another curve coming the other way. So same exact thing on this side now. So just creating this and then popping it out and then coming down. And once again, flare it out. There. Okay. So that's, I'm not going to put too much detail in the bottom right here because this part is just so complicated, right? So I'm just going to leave that as is and then let's come back and we're going to start to draw her hair. So let's come back to this curve that we've created. And so I'm not going to go too much lower. So about right there, I'll just come in here with a soft point and I'm going to work on this side first and I'm going to start to go up. And then, uh, let's see here, I'm going to aim for this area, so come up, creating this roundish shape right here, and then we're going to bring it in. So about in this area, we're going to start to bring it in more. And then as we come there, let's bring this up, then we're going to start to come out. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this size before I finish the top part. So about right there, same thing. Round this off a little bit and then we're just going to start creating this shape right here. So right here where it's kind of thinner, I'm going to give myself a point. It's easier for my hand to go down on this side. So I'm just going to go about right there and connect there. So it's all up to you, whichever um, way is easier for your hands and also rotate the paper if you need to. So we're going to come up. Now we're going to start to draw those kind of ears that she has. So I'm going to come, let's see about right here, come up. Uh, about right there, I'll stop and then give it a point and then bring it back right to the center about right here and bring it back down. 
So same thing on the other side. Go up, and I'm just gonna drag this point across, approximate. There. And once again, the point and bring it down. There. Just approximate. It's not gonna be exactly the same. As long as it's not too different in size. <laughs> Okay, so there. Now we have that in. Finally, let's draw her, um, let's come and draw her arms. So I'm having her hold a lights, two lightsabers. So imagine her shoulders coming down, armpits. So about right here, I'm gonna curve her arm. Just a simple curve right there. And I'm gonna stop, cut it off, and then Come in, and then her um, arm. So close to this area, I'm gonna angle, angle, because I need her to be holding in a thumb, and then curve in here, and curve. Something like a hook, right? And then um, let's come in here, and I'm just gonna draw the handle just a simplify handle of our lightsaber going through. So about right here, it's gonna come out. And okay, I'm just gonna give myself a point right here. It's easier for my hand, so I'm gonna come about there and come back down right into this area. There. Okay, so same thing on the other side. Here we go. So it's all about in this area right here. So we're gonna angle, same thing, just like the other side. We're just curve, so about right there. And then once again, this area, cut it off and bring in about right there and let's come here same thing again thumb angle in curve and once again the handle so it's all in this area And then once again, I'm just going to go straight up. So about just like the other side, about right there. And bring this down all the way in here. Ah! <laughs> I hate drawing this side. It's always harder on my hand. Okay, there. Now for all the amazing little details. Okay, so now to bring everything to life, let's um, let's come here. I'm gonna start with the head, uh, the hair piece. So I'm just gonna come in here really quickly and draw the pattern for you. And so say about right here. So this video doesn't take forever. I'm just gonna quickly come in here and draw in all these little details. So I'm just curving it this way to give our hair some volume. And so same exact thing here, but flipped on the other side. And sorry if I'm going too fast. Just pause the video if you need to. So about right here.
there. Okay, so then um, let's draw some details right here on her glove part. Some simple details just to beef it up. Okay, and then here as well, let's come about right here. I'm going to cut it off. And then there's some stripes right here. And same thing over here. And then in here, there's more detail. <laughs> so we'll start right in the center. Two angles, like drawing a house. Bring it straight down. And this is all like in a different color, but I just wanted to show you and sharpie you how to draw it. So when you're coloring it, you don't necessarily have to use, say if you're using a sharpie, just do it when you're uh, using the darker, I think it's like a blue. There and then in the center, I think this is kind of like a gold color. So right in the center, come straight down and then draw this jewel shape. And then gonna come down right next to it, follow the outside of it. Same thing here, follow the outside, connect, and right here at this angle. Bring it up. We're almost done. <laughs> and then, okay, so now for the markings on her face. Um, obviously, this is all going to be white, but I just want to show you how to draw it. So about right here, I'm going to come here very lightly and draw this shape right here. Same thing on this side. So about right here. So just create this shape in white when you're coloring her face. And then for this um, eyebrow area, let's come say near her. I'm just going to give myself a point right there. Curve over her eye. Same thing on the other side. Nice and centered. Curve over her eye. And then I'm going to create this angle on both sides and then go up into this area and let's continue this thin line coming down and then over here it's going to go thicker, go up and then come down. So thin right here and then thick and come down. And then last thing right here, we're going to pop in a little shape right in this corner. And um, da -da 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 I think <laughs> we have it all. Oh my gosh, that took forever, right? But hopefully I've helped you with all the little details just to make this drawing more completed because Ahsoka is just so awesome, right? <laughs> so hopefully I've helped you and I've inspired you to give this a try. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to um, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.